Welcome everyone. I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California. Uh, we're holding our monthly tech meet. What we're going to talk about today is something that I don't usually talk about too much, and that's going to be an Arnage. Rolls Royce and Bentley went through some changes and transitions. These particular models came out in 1998. Many times I talk about cars when that don't get driven much, especially a PMC. Everybody's proud of it. They don't want to put a lot of miles on it, but they don't drive it. And these cars, they went actually in a late spirits and spurs. They went to instead of a chain drive window motor with this monster motor, and it's like a bicycle chain, stout gearbox, and all that kind of stuff. They went to the uh, cheaper mode with little plastic pulleys and bicycle brake cable type stuff, cables, plastic motor housings and all that kind of stuff. The windows on these, when they go bad, you need to replace that regulator. It's the whole assembly, okay, because it breaks things. Well, some guys will spend the time to fix them, but I don't like to do that because I can't stand behind them. Sure, you know, I can put a, you know, Mickey Mouse it, it's a good phrase, and it's just gonna break again. And if, if, if that happens, then I look like I don't know what I'm doing. So I always replace the regulators. Each one is different. What happens is the windows that don't get used often, which is the drivers, is gonna get used the most. But the windows that don't get used often, sometimes they'll wanna use them all of a sudden and it won't work and they keep pressing and all of a sudden they hear this bang and the window goes down and it won't go up. What's happened is this rubber channeling in here around the glass, since it hasn't moved in forever, it's stuck, it sticks. So as the motors work and work and work and work and, and then it finally breaks it loose, it just, it just goes crazy, it breaks it. Uh, so you wanna use them regularly. Just, just use them. So, that, I mean, that, that goes on the, the, the GTs, they got the same problem with that. People don't use the windows, and especially in the rear quarter windows, and when they finally do want to use them, they break. Uh, do not buy one of these or anything like that without making sure the windows work. And if it breaks while you're checking them out, then it's not your fault. You're just making sure everything works. Uh, do silver clouds with air conditioning have cabin filters? If they do, where is the cabin filter? No, uh, the silver cloud, I, I, I like to throttle the engineers on that one. Uh, no, they do not have filters for the air conditioning system, heating, ventilation. But the silver cloud, they, they just had this brilliant idea. They didn't want any nice cowl up here to take this air in. That's where most air conditioning systems come in. With the cowl. They put these snowpack vents right under the headlamps, right above the bumpers. Where's, where's the cloud here? Cloud two. So, unless it's coach built, this is where the intake is for the heating ventilation. Okay, so just imagine if that's where your air conditioning is and it's a hot day, you're in stop and go traffic. Where's the car's tailpipe in front of you? Perfect height. So you're going to be sucking in carbon monoxide. Not a good thing. That always pissed me off about the silver cloud. So, I mean, you think about it. Yes, they, got, they didn't put some unsightly grill up there by the windshield. Plus, there wasn't a lot of room on that one. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's so... They didn't put cabin filters or pollen filters in cars until, in my recollection, I was working at Jaguar. They had them like 2003, I think after that. That's when they really started. Well, this one is earlier, so that, you know, that's, that's right around the turn of the century is when I, I've started running across them. But these, it's a, it's a very important, it's much cheaper to spend you know, $80 on a couple of Calvin filters once a year than it is to spend $6,000 to get your blower motor replaced. It sounds like the Arnage Serap, I hope I'm saying that right, is more maintenance slash repair prone than the Spirit or Spur. Is that correct? I am not going to agree with that. Uh, the Serap has the BMW V12 in it. 
pretty good engine. They don't have head gasket problems. So V8 Bentley, the turbocharged Bentley, has the head gasket problems. That number that I threw out there, 5,000 a year, that'll cover most of the series. Unless you buy a car that has had a lot of deferred maintenance, that first year could cost a lot to get things going. Or if you bought one that has been maintained properly, then you're gonna be ahead of the curve. You might pay more for that car, but bottom line is you're gonna have less problems. So I, I would say that they're both about the same when it comes to maintenance and regular service, regular repairs. Head gaskets, that's a big deal. These, I saw a lot of cars, I saw cars with 30 something thousand miles of blown head gaskets uh, to 50s, I think was, what was on the one I bought. Um, but you get a, a shadow with 80,000 miles on it, it's gonna need a valve job soon. And the reason being is their valve seals and their fuel management, the engines don't run as clean. They build up a lot of crud on the valves. And what happens on a lot of those is the valves will not close all the way eventually. Because I've taken a lot of them apart with it you have to drive the valves out. And a lot of times the lifter noise is blamed for that, but what a lot of times I think is, is the valves are sticking. So the lifter is not, they can't make up for that extra space. So the cars will make a tapping noise until it warms up. You know, so, so it could be a lifter, yes. It could be a sticking valve too. Sticking valve will tend to give you more of a misfire, but a lifter can cause that too. Slightness fire. Now, if you have air conditioning, it's a retrofit. Most of the Silver Clouds have retrofit air conditioning. They will use cabin air filter or cabin air, not filter. They will use cabin air. So they'll leave, except for, yeah, even the, the underwing unit on the left side takes inside air and then blows it out the vents. And then the rear units take inside air right by that back glass and blow it out the vents. Only the factory air will take it from outside. And there is a research fu function on that too, on the, on the factory uh, Silver Cloud AC system. It'll take air from under the seat. There's a, there's a duct there for the lower air, which sucks it in. Good job. Do something. Yep. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank awesome. You. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. Take care, Thank you. Thanks, Ronnie.